system. So government will assist them with the correct money while you provide at least provide the food and the shelter for them. But don't push them to the streets. Eh? Like yesterday we went to all people's home and people. Eh? But then uh, the same government is paying mentally um, disadvantaged. Uh, government is working uh, you know, with Ministry of Health and other ministries to make sure that uh, at least we can get a home for people. To keep your question for the missile. <laughs> कोई नहीं बताए We have been traveling around Fiji just to hear your concerns, okay? And today we decided to come to Lotoka to see how best we can serve you, to, to listen to your uh, complaints as well. I'm sure you have a lot of complaints? Yeah. Okay, we will not run away from the complaints, we'll listen to your complaints and we will see how best we can assist you, okay? That's the whole point. Uh, the whole point is to see that our services come to you and that you, you know about what the ministry has to offer, right? Um, another thing, the government has changed the name of the ministry from uh, social welfare and poverty alleviation and women to women, children and poverty alleviation, okay? And uh, I see that we have a lot of women here. Uh, I'm sure we can inform you of our projects that include women and children. And of course, to the, to the gentlemen here, I'm sure you are our social welfare recipients. Some of your recipient, uh, some of your, uh, what you call that, assistance may have been terminated, that's why you are here, okay? We will see how best we can review and uh, put you back. Okay? But at the same time, we'd like to tell you that there are certain criteria that the ministry follows, okay? And uh, before we put you into our assistance programs, we have a criteria to follow. And we strongly believe that the government is here to assist you all, but at the same time, we want families to take more responsibilities. Okay? There has been many cases where families are not fulfilling their responsibilities. Elderly have been neglected, children have been neglected. So we are appealing to families out there to fulfill the family responsibilities of looking after the, the senior citizens and the children. But like I said, the ministry has a program to assist everybody who needs our help, okay? And that's, that's, the, that's the reason why we are here this morning. And of course, to hear from you. It's better that you hear from us and we hear from you. And uh, we have a time frame for processing your application. We are giving it six weeks, okay? Uh, for the officers to go out and uh, do a field walk, to visit you, to talk to you. Because we have found out that there are many families that uh, sometimes lie to us about the income, okay? So we want people to be very honest about it because there are so many people out there who need our assistance. So if you can look after yourself, if your family can look after yourself, we will appeal the family to do that so that we can go out and assist the others. But your presence here this morning is very much appreciated and uh, this will give me a chance and my team to meet you personally and listen to you. Okay, that's the whole point. Like you said, the government of the day, it's a caring government. It cares for everybody, including children and our senior citizens. And that's why we, we thought it fit to come down to your city. We've been here since yesterday. Yesterday we were out there with our senior citizens and children in the homes, celebrating Christmas with them. Okay, We understand it's time for Christmas. 
and if we can help you celebrate your Christmas in a more merrier way, in a more joyous manner, and if you can bring light to the new year, we will do that. Okay? As the minister responsible for looking after your welfare, I'm here to say we will we will do everything we can do as, to assist you. And of course, we need cooperation from your side too. Eh? Sometimes there's a bulk of application and there's delays. I do understand that. So please cooperate with us, cooperate with our, uh, our offices, and uh, hopefully we can bring better services to your town in the coming, uh, coming year. So with these words, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, I'm here to stay to listen to you. Thank you.